So this short video is going to be about this little guy here. It's a 3D printed enclosure. As you can see, it has two holes in the back. This slot right here. In here, you might notice those little dips or dimples in there. They are on both sides. That's for the lid. In the back, you can see my logo. I decided to emboss it on there. I thought it looked pretty cool. Then we have the lid. These are the tabs that will lock onto the box. And this little slit right here or slot or bar fits with this. Um, originally, I put this lower in the design that's online. This is actually higher because you can see this is tall. And again, also on here, I put my logo. This box is specifically designed for this guy. It's basically an adjustable flasher. It's going to be used on a nomadic prop I'm building with a friend. And basically, just so you can see it working, you plug this in. And you can see the light is flashing. And you can hear the clicking of the relay. And it's adjustable. I might put up a video with the prop working, but I'm not sure. So this slot is meant for this, but originally I thought this would fit lower. So that's why this slit is a little lower, but I didn't want to print it again. So this wire, this is the out, basically goes in here. This goes here, this slides in here. This will be glued on here with a hot glue gun in order to align it with this. Then we're just going to put on the lid. Just be careful with the tab here. You don't want to break it as you're putting it on. It, it will need some force because I put it so it stays locked pretty tight. So as you can see, it fits nicely. It does not come off easily. The top part lines up because I had already fixed this after I printed this. So again, the one online, everything should fit properly here. And of course, the little knob, which I would put on before I put the lid on normally, goes on here. And that's for the adjustment. Um, while this is designed specifically for this, you could actually probably use it for anything that has a knob and you have an in and out wire or just one in or one out, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, that's that. And again, the lid's actually pretty hard to take off because it gets nice and flush and it locks on very tight. Um, let me try to take it out, hopefully I don't rip off something. And I've already taken it off a few times, so it's a little easier now. So you can see that was pretty difficult to take off. So once you put it on there, it should be pretty good on there. And I really liked that I used these tabs instead of screws. Originally I was going to put it so it would screw on. But I thought the tabs were a lot better. So that's it. If you like this, give it a like, share it, subscribe to my channel. Enjoy.